Well, hey there, this is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I am stoked to show you some of the newer features of Arc, the amazing web browser for the Mac. Definitely stick around and check it out. So yes, 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 I am really uh, fortunate to talk about um, Arc, which I got my hands on yesterday. Someone from the browsing company um, gave me a license to it, and um, I'm just really excited about being able to check it out. Um, and so here, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do in this particular video, there's a lot of videos out there about Arc, which has been around for about a year and a half or so. And even the um, browsing company's channel also has a lot of videos. So what I want to do is try to point out some of the newer features that may have came out like, you know, a couple of months, three months, four months ago, uh, because some of the other videos that already been reviewed it has been they were out about you know a whole year ago so i'm going to talk about some of the newer ones but i'm also going to introduce uh some of the ways that um, arc is different from other web browsers so let's get right into it first off is the way that the big difference is is that arc doesn't have you know all the little the bookmarks up here at the top and the url that's totally gone here so i want to talk about how you do go and find and you know locate stuff um, in Arc, but that's not here. Also, Arc is broken up into what's called spaces, right? And I'm going to show you that. And that is a, something that, you know, you have something similar in other uh, web browsers, but I, I want to show you how it's different there. And uh, then also Arc is just, to me, has a cleaner user interface. And that's the reason why I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So let's first off, let's look at spaces here. So here's my default space. And then I'm going to, I'm going to move, do a two finger swipe to the left. Oops. To the right. I'm sorry, to the right. And here's my other spaces. I have one for web clients. I have one for web maintenance. I have one for my, um, you know, my blogging. And I have another one for my, uh, graphic design work in Canva. So I'm still filling these out. I have a lot more to add to them, but that's what you can do is you can switch between spaces. And basically what I like about that approach is that when you go to a space, that's where you're going to be doing work. So it's like, it kind of, it kind of takes you away from other, you know, uh, annoying or distracting uh, websites or what have you, and you just focus in on your work. Now, I did a video about another web browser called Biscuit, and Biscuit is pretty much the same thing. I'll put a link to that in the um, in my description here. But uh, so Arc does pretty much a lot with what Biscuit you know does, but even better and much more better presentation and user interface. So that's the big difference there. And almost any video um, you know, about uh, Arc will, will tell you that. So another thing that you can do in your sidebar, in your spaces, is that when you park um, bookmark pages in, um, you know, in the sidebar, if you put them to the, to the top of above this line, that means they are pinned to that particular space. They will always stay there until you remove them. Anything that appears in the below, so like if you open up a, if you, you know, if you go look, if you go look for a certain page or whatever, you do a, a, a Google search or whatever, and you open it, it'll, it'll open up below here. And these ones that stay here are, they will be automatically um, archived like, you know, seven hours or a week, whatever you, whichever one you just uh, uh, choose for that, uh, they will be archived and cleared out. So that's really helps you with uh, tab clutter um, in, in that sense. And that's the reason why I couldn't wait to get my hand, hands on it as well. So they used to get archived. And so they, they'll go away. Now, another thing here is that you can create uh, folders for um, your pinned uh, bookmarks here. If I close this one, um, you can click on right here or you put your cursor on top of the search here and you will see that it will show those pinned bookmarks right here. That is really something very different and I think that's something they recently came out with because some of the older videos don't talk about that. And this is really nice. Uh, this is similar to uh, Speed Dial and Vivaldi, which that's one I'm leaving from and I really loved B Vivaldi, but uh, this one is a really good feature because I can just kind of look in these in these uh, 
folders here and uh, and get a few of it. And I can just click on whichever uh, bookmark that I want to do. So that's a really uh, neat thing as well. Now, another thing that I like is the uh, uh, Arc has a lot of uh, you know keyboard shortcuts for almost every action that you do inside of Arc. Um, and one of the things you can do, you can use the shortcuts or you can use the command window and you press uh, command T or I use better touch tool because my hand is already on my trackpad. I use a three finger, three finger click that triggers command T to open up the command window. And everything that you can, again, in the command window, anything that you can, you can do a shortcut for, you can do it in the command window. So if I wanted to pin a tab, I can do that. If I wanted to rename a tab, I can do that. If I wanted to toggle the sidebar, I can do that. So I can hide it there. And then I go back and just do it again. Then toggle and bring it back if I want. Now, I, again, I have a better touch tool finger gesture as well. When I do a three finger click swipe left, right? It'll hide it and then do it again. It'll bring it back. So it just depends upon where my hand already is. A lot of times when I am in a side of a web browser, I'm just browsing. So my hand is on my trackpad and I want to be able to trigger a lot of the shortcuts. So what I normally do is I will create a lot of finger gestures or several fing finger gestures that I, that I want to trigger some of those shortcuts that I use a lot. So anyway, so that's um, another feature of that. Now, like I said here, when you have these, these are, uh, when they're clicked away, like if I click this away, it goes into the archive, right? And so if I do a command Y, I can bring up the archive. I think not command Y, it is, what is it? Let me go through that. I forget, so that's the wrong shortcut. Uh, that's, that's view history. If I wanted to view history, I can look at that. And then if I want to view the archive, I can do that. So all that your, all your archived, uh, or closed um, bookmarks will appear up in here, right? So you just do that. And then you can either switch to uh, one of the spaces there and also kind of filter out in terms of the spaces there. And so you can also look at the auto close and the manual close. Now, a lot of other videos don't really show that. I just wanted to point that out to you. That is a really nice thing too. So you really don't have to worry about um, ARC kind of, you know, closing out, automatically closing out bookmarks when you can just go back and find them in this particular area, right? So again, it's helping with your tab clutter there. All you got to do is just be able to just drag whatever thing you want to keep. You can just drag it up inside uh, this area right here. Now, another thing is, and I think this is pointed out in a lot of other videos as well, but but you can also do favorites, your favorite bookmarks that you kind of like go to on a daily basis maybe. You can put them up here, and these will appear in each of your spaces here, right? And so if I go to the next space, well, actually, let me let me just also interrupt myself on that. You can, you can have it in this space here. So if I were to go over like here, to my uh, blog, uh, blogging space, right? You see those are same favorites, right? But when I go back over here, it's a different set of favorites. So what that means is if you can do what's called a, you can attach what's called profiles to a space. You can attach different profiles. So like if you have two different uh, Google addresses or what have you, then you can attach one of those profiles to a different space and you can create different fa uh, favorites up at the top, which is really, really nice. So you can have your those favorites apply to what you want, um, you know, for, for that area of space of work. All right, so let's go back. So that's that's really, really nice. And you really want to, if you, I wanna, I'm not gonna talk about how do you do profiles, but you can go look that up. Um, there's several videos about profiles, but it's something that you definitely want to know how to do. Another feature that a lot of the, the earlier videos don't talk about is the um, is is the the, the built-in screenshot or screen capture um, you know the, a feature here and you can actually go here and click on this and you can take a screen capture right here you just drag it here and it will take it and then you can do what you can do is save it to the library I'm going to show you that in a second you can copy it save it to the finder you can also edit it you can kind of go in here and you know say you want to 
do some arrows there or, you know, some lettering or what have you, start typing there. So that's that's another little time saver, right? Now, this is limited to taking screenshots of anything inside the web browser. You can't take screenshots of anything outside the, screen, the web browser, but it's still a, 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 a nice little time saver. You don't have to switch to another uh, another application to do that. So then you're going to go here and you save it to the library. All right, and then you can kind of go to your library down here. You can open the library up, and you'll see that it's saved uh, right here. And then all your screenshots are also saved. You can filter them to save them here. Um, and let's go back. And uh, so that's really nice because if you want, say you open up a web page in which you want to, you know, insert um, or drop in a screenshot, you can get it from right here. You don't have to go to your finder in order to get it. All right. And so another thing they have here, too, is um, you can do notes and you have notes right here within the browser. This just really like when I saw this in other videos, I was like, oh, wow, I got to have this. So this is really becomes in handy. So if I'm doing a, you know, a, a, a creating notes about this, this particular video. Right. I can do the notes right in here where they belong, right? And I don't have to go to another like notebook application in order to find it. I can have notes about my uh, clients in my web web design space or what have you. So that is just really great. And another one they do is, um, it's called easels. Let me see if I can find an easel that I did. It was, oh, here's, yeah, here's one. Um, you can put easels. This is similar to kind of notes, but here's where you can put uh, anything you want to put in there, screenshots, files, almost anything you want to put in there. And there's other videos about that, but I just want to kind of show you that it exists there. And one of the things when you first get uh, access to uh, ARC, they have a really, really nice kind of uh, invitation and onboarding process that they take you through. So it's really nice. And you'll see it when you go, when you go through it. So um, that is that is that. Let me see what else do they have. Oh, another thing they can do here too is they don't talk too much about this in other videos. Is say I'm gonna open up my mail client Spark, which I really love. Spark is so cool. And let me scroll down. So I'm gonna say I open this up here. What this will do is they will open it up in a what's called a. Uh, Spark Mini or Mini Spark, right? And so you notice that it'll open it up in a separate window here rather than open it up in this one. Now you can change this in settings if you want, but I'm thinking I might just kind of leave it this for a while and see how, how I use it. But anytime you open up an external link, it'll open up in a separate window and you can choose to click this and just or do Command O and save it in uh, a, a particular space or the current space you can do that as well but i kind of like that because it kind of reduces the the, the uh, uh, uh tab clutter there and so this is a really good neat thing here i think um it's like you know on your on your phone on your ipad or something like that when you click and click sometimes into a mail client it will open up the uh the link inside the client, and which is nice, but of course you can't do that um, here. At least I don't, I'm not sure. If, you know, you can't do it in in Arc. You can do it, I think, in Raindrop or something like that. But anyway, it opens up into a mini one, and you can also just, uh, you know, you can take this and just, uh, I think you can, you know, do the make the, the browser really really small and just park it over here. Uh, to the side if you want as well. So if I wanted just to go there, I'll go to my default space and you see it shows up um, right there. So anyway, uh, that's really a really good feature here. The last thing I want to show you about is uh, what they call the tab uh, switcher here. And the tab switcher is what I, the assigned key that I use for it is control tab. So I, I go down the control key and then the tab and it'll bring up the last five um, uh, windows or the last five tabs that you visited, right? And so you keep your hand on the uh, control key and then you can just tab between these ones that you want, right? And then you let go and it'll bring it to, to, the, to that particular tab. Now, in settings, I think that the um, shortcut keys are different then control tab. At least I think that's what it was for me. So I changed it to control tab. I think that's an easier way uh, to to 
you know, use that shortcut, if you will. So you may want to check that out when you get ready to use it. So again, this is just a really good feature. It is still an invitation only. So, you know, you want to go ahead and click that try it yourself and go ahead and, you know, give them your, give them your, um, you know, your email address and get on it because I've heard that it takes sometimes takes a long time to uh, to get access to it. And I was lucky to get it, I think, in about a week and a half or whatever. And so I kind of went on Twitter and just kept asking for it over and over again. But anyway, um, I hope that uh, you might want to check it out. If you are already an ARC user, definitely let me know that and tell me what you like about it and what you don't like about it. If you're new to this, definitely check it out. It's worth the time. It's still free. It's even free after you uh, get access to it. So they haven't even started charging for it. So I hope you like this video and I hope it was useful to you. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll check you out the next time.